y'all. This is Brandy from Southern Cap Seattle. And I want to say hey to all our returning viewers. A big welcome to any new viewers. So, I'm feeling a little better today. I'm trying to get my health back on track. But I did want to put a video out. So, that's why it's a little late on showing y'all what's needed. I posted what's needed today and stuff like that. But anyways... We're going to jump right in. We're going to be making a little decor piece. Something I just thought would be really cute together. And we're going to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and show you everything needed for this project. Which of course if you follow me on social media. Which the links are down below. There's a list of what's needed. And you could also get that list on the community tab. Alright let's start. Now remember when I show you these items. If you don't find them where I got them from. You can probably find something along the line somewhere else, but let's get to it. So I got this, which is just a little decor piece from Michael's, I believe. It could have been from Hobby Lobby. I'm not 100% sure. It's been a while since I bought it. But the point is, I'm sure you can find something like this. And it's a, it's a thick two-piece thing, so I took it apart just to let you know. See. Alright, so if you can't find one like that you take part, just find two. And then we're going to be using this little wooden box, the uh, tray thing, whatever you want to call it. It's actually a, um, it's like a shadow box uh, decor piece. I'm going to use this, which I got from Walmart after Christmas. Again, you can probably go to Dollar Tree and find something similar to this, not exactly the same. And it would still work. And then we're going to be using ivory paint off-white from Waverly. You could use any one you want, but that's what I'm using. And I'm going to be using Snow White from Waverly, which is just white. Of course, glue, paintbrush, and you're going to need sandpaper because you have to sand the little trellis, trellis or whatever decor piece. All right, let's get to it. Oh yeah, I don't know what it is, but one side sand it better than the other side. But the whole point was just to take some of the color off and rough it up just to make sure the paint holds. So I'm not too concerned about that. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to paint the whole thing ivory to, you know, tone down the darks. And then when we put the white over it, it'll work. It'll cover the ivory. So, but you want to get try to cover the black as best you can so that the black's not showing through into the white. But that's all we're doing with this. That's why we're doing this. I can get some ivory on my paintbrush. So we just want to try to cover it up some. And it doesn't have to be perfect because you are putting the white over it and that's what you really want to show. So if you don't get a good solid covering with this, it's not a big deal. You're just literally lightening this up so that it just, like I said again, doesn't peek through. I should have did a better brush, but it's fine. It'll work. See how much more better it looks already? Give me a second, though. I want to make sure it's completely in camera when I paint. I. Alright, so I know where my camera is, but I have a bad habit of. I don't really want to say spacing out because I'm aware of what's going on, but I have a bad habit of not realizing I pull my stuff out of the camera, like I'm still doing right now. <laughs> I have to work within my setup.
And you're going to do this for all three pieces because you're going to want to cover up the wood color and the words on the Wonderland. Which I forgot to um, sand. That's the word I'm looking for. My brain died. Sorry. I forgot to sand the Wonderland out. So I'm going to do that just to. Um, what, what you're doing is you're roughing up the stuff just to make sure the paint stays. That's part of it. So, Hey, give me a second okay so of course you're going to want to paint the front and back and the sides and on the inside for full coverage now while we're just trying we're going to paint the next part and i went ahead and i sanded the inside like i said i wanted to do because it needs to be able to see now I'm going to go ahead and tell y'all, and I forgot to tell y'all when I was doing this, you do not have to use white, that's the color I picked. If you want to, you can pick any color that you like, you could paint it black. But I do recommend, if you're painting any other color besides black, you're definitely going to want to, if you're covering anything, you're definitely going to want to use the ivory because it's going to be lighter than the colors you're using. And so it'll help cover everything so you can't see it. And that is why I'm using the ivory. So you want to think about that when you're doing this. Just remember, when you're doing this stuff, you want to be creative and have fun and tweak it to your style. That way it fits into what you're doing. And I'm not saying you can't do exactly what I'm doing because you might like it and that might be what you like. But you want to make sure you tweak it to your style. Like, you can also find a smaller one of these because I want to show you an idea I thought was really cool that popped in my head. with this finished project. I mean, you can still do it with this size, but if you want smaller, you can do that. All right. So while that's drying, let me show you real quick, okay? So you take these and you put them like we're gonna do, and then you do from that way instead of the other way and let the stuff show through the trellises. I thought that was a really cool idea. So, and if I don't give this away, that's probably how I'll use it. But I'm probably gonna give this away because I think the seniors might enjoy it. One of the seniors might enjoy it.
Now on a completely unrelated topic, but it kind of relates because it has to do with seniors. You know, there are a lot of seniors out there that don't have family that don't really get stuff. That's a lot of the reason why I decided to do it this way, where I give this to seniors. But you don't have to make stuff and give it to. You can buy stuff for them and give it to them. And they'd appreciate it. I know there's a lot out there that can use hygiene products and, like, blankets and socks and stuff. And, you know, just things like that. And a little cute decor, too, but... We were given, you know, like, shampoo and conditioner and soap out to them also just for... Just so they can have. I like to help people. So, therefore, I tend to, sorry, I tend to help a lot and give. Because I want people to be happy. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been taken advantage of. But, you know, I did the right thing. So, I helped somebody that said they were in need. And it just makes you feel so good, y'all, to give. We're going to let that dry, and then we'll move on to the next step. Alright y'all, so now we're going to move on to the actual painting of it. And again, you do not have to pick the color I pick. I just, I just think it looks clean and nice. And I will tell you, if you're going to do, especially if you're going to do the smaller size box and do the one where it's facing the other way, you're definitely going to want to do the same color on the base as these so it makes it disappear See how that looks. I think it looks pretty. It's simple. It's not complicated. You get a good design.
I'm sorry, y'all. I know I'm still in, but I'm out. I'm trying to do this where you see the whole thing. So, I'm going to let y'all know a little secret of why I use so much white. Because white is timeless. And it'll go with any design. White and black will go with any color scheme. And it is so timeless. And just, that is why I use so much white. And I'll probably start getting into black too. Because I do like black. But white's my to go to. Because it's clean. And it's just... So, I'm going to say again, timeless. You can use it with any color scheme. So that's what it looks like so far. And then we're just going to keep going on. Alright, well, let's try. Again, we're gonna move on to the next piece. Sorry. And we're just gonna paint it like we've been doing. But I'm gonna switch brushes because this is a big area to do. And I just wanna get it done. You don't have to do it as intricately as you. Intricately. I can't even talk, y'all. You don't have to be as careful with this one as you did with the other one. So I'm going to say again, I hope one day y'all will take my advice and do this. I would really love to have some ideas from y'all on what I can make. And what y'all want to see because I am doing this for y'all to show y'all how to do stuff or if you don't know how to do it or just show you things you may never think of but if you have an idea of something you want to see how I might do it or you're not sure how to do it Hit me up with the idea so I can maybe help you out there. See, there you go. Look how great that looks. Now that they're dry, we're going to go ahead and we're going to glue the pieces together. And it comes about to here, so this is where we're going to go with it. And I'm trying to get it all over so that it has a good stick. I think I went a little too high on that one, but that's fine. For this one and if you want to you can even go up the whole side because they're going to be together but that is literally all we had to do I'm in love with it I think it came out looking great again like I said you do not have to do white and you can also do a smaller piece that fits completely in this arch or whatever you want to call it but I want it this way I'm happy with it I think it came out looking great 
I hope y'all enjoyed it. If y'all did, please, 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 please like, share, subscribe, and comment because it does help my channel grow. And I will see y'all next time. Bye!